Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Dawn of War 2 replay. I spawn on the left side as the Lord of Commissar, we have Broodwitch. I spawn on the north side as his teammate, we have, as Lord of Commissar, we have the King of Pythons. Two Lord of Commissars. Is this some sort of bet between them? The first one who, it's like a weird game of chicken where the first one who retreats back, the other one gets to shoot them. Either way, over on the other uh, opponent, we have the Tech Marine Hex and the Plague Champion Kaban Kabanyaki. Kabanyaki? Kabanyaki. An ally has secured a power node. Yep. Either way, we do got a triple Imperial Guards opener and a Sentinel An Imperial Guards opener. <laughs> The best thing I can see that can be deployed out right now for the noise for the plague champion is probably a noise marine. Noise marine from a noise blaster will annihilate the forces of these Imperial Guardsmen. And we've got another Chaos Marine, which is probably a good idea. So I think heavy for something trouble be a bit more problematic for these Imperial Guardsmen to engage. He is starting to repair the single wall in combat. The Lord Chromosar has activated his shield. I'm not sure if this is bad about. He's not replacing AI or anything, but that's only said to his teammate, so I'm not sure what's going on. We do got some tactical marines following on back away from the board of Commissar. <clears throat> on the north side, we do have these Chaos Marines engaging the Lord Commissar. We got multiple units up here as well. We got the single being repaired while well in combat. And a very nice ritual here to keep these Chaos Marines very nice and healthy. Because <clears throat> he's uh, telling his teammate he's fighting against two. There's a Tech Marine and Scouts. Tech Marine is falling on back. Or not far back, a singing cover. We do got these guard squads engaging though at long range. We got the tactical marines, or yeah, the chaos marines. We got two tactical marines and there's two chaos marines. Sorry if I get those mixed up. They're base pretty much the same. Though one of them is getting fueled by the nice ritual, or not so nice nature ritual. We are losing a requisition point to the enemy. We do have the Cash and Devils now deployed on out for the guy who has a Sentinel. Mount Tactical Marines and Chaos Marines. A heavy weapons team wouldn't be half bad. A lot of Marines right here. That's These generators are going down quite quick. A full gen bashing right there. We've got a heavy bolter turret here for defense, which can be deployed out by the Plague Champion. The Plague Champion is basically the counterpart to the Tech Marine for the Chaos player. Time Hero Guardsman is clashing on both sides of these uh, Marine squads. We've got the Scout Squad, could throw a grenade on the low ground here. Tactical Marines maybe trying to hide these guns in melee. Got a grenade detonation right there, but largely missed the Imperial Guardsmen. Scouts falling through a soft retreat. We got the Chaos Marines doing, and these force doing a soft retreat as well. When the uh, Chaos Marines do go down, and the Tactical Marines force making a full retreat path all the way back home, but he has enough health to withstand. It looks like one of these models got executed. And we got a Blue Spotter come by. The person who also got the Cajun Devils and the Sentinel, so going for a heavy. Tier 1 play versus a not so heavy tier 1 play. Tech Marine has been upgraded the Mastercrafted Bolter, which gives them a snipe ability. These Tactical Marines need to fall back sooner rather than later. They need to fall back right now. They just stay a lot of damage on the tree. And the both of the Calm Guards coming into whacking the swords. This one has been upgraded the Aura Discipline. The other one has been upgraded the Care Case Armor. While the Plague Champion is trying to fall away. 
He's going for the tier of two. So is the plug champion. He needs to get out Noise Marine and Noise Blaster as soon as possible. Plug champion is now falling on back, using the ritual, trying to get him to good health regen. We'll find the heavy bolt return and the plug champion will escape on out there. This heretic squad is going to be kept alive just purely meant for rituals. The miracle ritual is probably my favorite one of all of them. Just health regen. It's simple and effective. Zinch's camouflage is not that easy to use. It pours just what movement speed, which is not that great for most battles. But the health regen, that's always going to be useful. Cajun Devil getting hit by the Tarantula's Sentry Gun, but he does execute the models to make sure he continues to push forward. You can get the Sentinel now receiving quite a bit of fire from these units. The Heavy Bolter is a bit effective, and these guys need to sort of stick around these heretics for the ritual. They're a bit wounded. Down south, we've got the tactical marines engaging all of these APO guardsmen. We've got Blood Crusher coming out. Blood Crusher can be very can be affected by that ritual as well. The tech marine is still down. We'll likely stay down for a bit of time. This tactical marine squad will fall back, so it's all of its models. Very nice. It does force back the Chaos Marines, but we got a Chimera transport coming on out. Hmm. Interesting. I probably would have not gone for It would be useful for reinforcing the Imperial Guardsmen. He needs plasma guns on those Imperial Guardsmen then, so they'd be more effective for the uh, Marines. I'm not even going to say safe escape base Marines or Chaos Marines, just generally both. Plus, they'll be effect more effective versus the Blood Crusher. Current charging on in. Got a smoke round from the artillery officer. Maybe that was from the Cajun Devil. Cajun Devil's to fire a grenade barrage. They are largely missing. There's the artillery spotted there. Calling on mortar barrage, but or smoke barrage on top of those forces. As well as a mortar barrage. Nice ritual right here, keeping these guys all alive. But I don't think this ritual can affect these tactical marines by... Ooh, Stormguard veterans have been deployed. As well, we do also have a librarian. And not, and they're not... Uh, he's not playing with a Zinch player to borrow a book from the Zinch nerds. Multiple plasma guns have been deployed. Three squad plasma guns. He has executed one of the models as well. Stormguard veterans are loaded with high explosive rounds, so we'll get some nice AoE damage. Does exclude another one of the models, but we've got some plasma gun uh, chaos marines. I thought may have would have gone for the uh, chain axe upgrade. Looks like the tech marine has been actually revived and being upgraded with the Sigmund Sigmund armor. I think he may have lost his leader there. Uh, maybe not. Overall, great engagement skills as Bill Garsman. Deep push right here. We got this sentry gun being paired up with a heretic. We do got a crack, a uh, single arm of crack missiles there. And we do got the turret now destroyed. The ritual is, of course, forced to cancel. Got incendiary mortar coming on down and does not generate damage, deal damage to these uh, buildings. That must be an oversight. Good damage onto those generators. Using ritual as well to heal up the blood crusher while it's getting reinforced. Grenade launches, knocks down the chaos marines. Search on the way. 
Overall, great damage onto the power generators. We do got these Chaos Marines now advancing. Oh, upgraded with Zinch variant to get the plasma guns. Plague Champion is following him back. Armor Pestilence being researched. He has the uh, Plague Mist as well. Blood Crusher charging in and tying up the Casual Devils in melee. Chaos Marine does fall back, does lose his uh, leader. And Scenery Morph does come on down. He needs to call the squad back. Those plasma guns are ripping them apart. Ooh. Guardsman with mark target from the Tech Marine. Tech Marine goes down again. And the Librarian will escape on out of there. Crack missiles are engaging. Ritual still being activated. The enemy has Trying to heal this blood pressure as quickly as possible. And he, he could also keep these guys back here just for rituals to get healing. But he probably wouldn't need to heal rituals. He could deploy the Nurgle structure for better healing as well. The Nurgle shrine. And that signal goes down to the plasma guns. Plasma guns, of course, effective versus uh, heavy infantry and vehicles. Tech Marines forces do force back those forces. We do got two guard squads here. And we do have the stubbornness research. His health reduced the fall while his men still fight, so I wonder not sure what it exactly does. His health regenerates by 10.5 seconds every damage that idea is around when he's surrounded by nearby troops. No problems while not falling back, it's seeing lots of fire. Got smoke round coming on down. Chaos is pushing the record. Storm Guard veterans do fall back. He needs noise marines. Noise marines for artillery support. We got two heavy weapons that have been deployed. One of them's the last cannon. Preemptive last cannon. The other one has deployed on out and just an upgrade of the auto cannon. When the models have been executed on that guard squad. And the plug champion will be falling back to the group and should stay alive. Noise means coming out. We have a noise blaster. We got assault veterans. The assault squad may see some vanguard veterans if he's pulling that out that late. Going for the sergeant upgrade first. We're losing a Great warp bolts there from the library. Great health regen there out from the Chaos Heretics. The power node is getting hit quite significantly. Stern Guard veterans are spoiling the tactical marines. Tactical marines could honestly a flame on tactical marines wouldn't be half bad. Knock back there onto the uh Guard squads. Dango Street from the Guard squad. We've got a Imperial Hulk right there. Noise Marines. Had an upgrade of the uh, Noise Blaster. Blastmaster. Assault Squad is falling on back. Smoke Round does come down on top of the Storm Guard Barons. Multiple Plasma Rounds into these infantry. He's trying to reinforce with this bunker. And. Noise can got direct hit on that group, giving massive damage. The garrison could go down. If he loses the garrison, that, the auto cannon could get destroyed inside. Library gets a direct shot there. Auto cannon does is escaping out of the building, but severely does get reinforced right there. And the bunker is now fully healed. Noise blaster firing off another shot, getting multiple hits. Noise blaster getting half a level measure in that one fight. Auto cannon is now falling on back. He may lose that auto cannon. This bunker is loaded up with the last cannon. Leaving Rust being deployed on out. I'm not sure. An execution turret would be okay. Not really a problem. 
not sure which would be better. Asking for resurrection. Right there. A little bit out of the way. It's sort of hard to get him. Noise Blaster gets direct hit there on the Lord of Alizar. It does tie up the Noise Marines in melee, but it does get forced back. And the Lord of Kalmazar will go down. This is not an uh, easy spot for the Lord of Kalmazar to be revived. It's pretty far behind the lines. Auto can set on up. We've got some casual devils here. Good, good hit there on the Imperial Guardsmen. Smoke around those connect. <coughs> Light Champion charging on forward, gets a special attack there. Salt Marines are charged on in, though they're Vanguard veterans now. Casual Devils falling back, a good knockback there from the artillery spotter. Light Grenade looks like it was with throw. Lehman Rust now charging on forward. He gets a direct hit there from the noise, uh, noise blaster. Or right, Blastmaster. I think it's always screw that up. We got Manticore being researched or being deployed, which came out of the here. We got a uh, Nurgle Shrine here. That's a lot of health regen. You can activate your ritual there to get even more health regen. Direct hit there on top of Lehman Russ. That's also reinforcing that Heretic squad. We've got our two flares on the hold on in. Well, then maybe they. Yep, there we go. We got the Mantor Barrage from Graining on in. Fear Guards being forced on back there by the Vanguard veterans. This squad almost get wiped from the Sergeant and the Colossar does remain. The Artillery Spotter is running away as well. Auto Cannon getting forced back. Tech Marine is down. Lean Ross is saying quite a bit of fire. Having all those squads being repaired up. We got the ritual being activated as well, so lots of health regen. Another direct hit. Noise Blaster is getting hit by the Lord Palmazar now. The Heretic Squad made it go from a ritual, does activate the ritual now. We got a mind drop there by one of the Lord Palmazars. Direct hit there, looks like our rocket launcher has been put on the Captain Marine squad. And another noise marine has been put out. Two noise blasters would be quite deadly. Librarian gets a great hit there with its uh, war boat. And we've got also the plague cloud coming down in, doing massive AMD damage to those Imperial Guardsmen, ripping the part and wipes out a squad with it. Resurrect resurrecting the tech marine. Direct hit there on the casual devils with the noise blaster. Second uh, noise marine is still not upgraded. Just running low on resources. Good knock back there. The thing is hard here to the team right uh, team left actually the team right side. The team right side, the left side does not have the capture. Noise blaster falling it back. We managed to skip on there. there. This noise box is getting ripped apart. The Storm Guard veterans are also getting hit quite significantly as well. Chaos Hedrick's going to charge on forward. A bunch of those landmines just got detonated right there. The shrine does go down. And that Hedrick's squad gets fully wiped. Another Lehman Rust being built. Against their opponent's current composition, another execution of cannon would be okay. I do like the execution cannon, and it is a pretty good anti infantry tool. It's really hard for me to tell what would be the best option. Maybe canceling going for Bane Blade would be a bit better. They have plenty, he has, they have both plenty of energy, they just need a requisition. Or maybe the Storm uh, Bane Wolf with a giant plasma cannon. Storm oh Lord wouldn't be half bad either. It has a lot of suppression. Just any of those heavy vehicles. The 
dun, 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 dun. I do love the Imperial Guard sound. The soundtracks in this game are phenomenal. The scout squad somehow still alive. Done more than just sticking the flanks, capture on points. Good idea, because it's just they're not heavy enough to deal with the central combat. Does spot the casual devils, gets annihilated by that blast master. Is that an orbital strike? That is an orbital strike. They just walk back into it. This squad should escape on out of there. These squads make it fully wiped. Going to do a casual report after the fact. I think the casual devils went down. Catch the devil to slow down. The pure guards and do manage to live. Those Calisperians are falling on back. We do got the Melka gun engaging the Lehman Rust. We also have the armor piercing rounds being utilized on the Lehman Rust slow. Two Lehman Rust are here. One making sure, one executioner. He some great damage there on the Storm Guard veterans. Rocket does connect. Vanguard Vans trying to get the damage on that Executioner. Melta Gun does get a good hit there. Librarian also in the mix. Artillery Flare has been uh, thrown down. The Executioner will go down. I think for sure needs to get Alan out of there. Retreat back this way. Prepare move back to his teammate. The Tech Marine does go down. Good warp bolt there. Librarian getting hit directly by the bank for sure. We got the poison cloud being supported out by his by the plague marine. And the Vanguard veterans are uncontested wailing on the Lehman Russ. Librarian does fall back. Lehman Russ does go down. That's two tanks down. Does roll a miss there. Got another shrine up and going. Ooh, what's being called there? Ooh! That was supposed to be the Manticore. I thought that looked like from the Tech Marine. Looks like he's gone for the orbs on the Saya research. Or try and go for it. Castle or Kamsar does go down. What's the difference? <laughs> Code of Hero Guardsman. Noise Blaster. I don't know if he lost the other Noise Marine in one of those fights. Auto Cannon now set on up. Noise Blaster. Lining up shot. This is going to be a deadly shot. Oh, direct hit. Annihilating that squad. Another good hit there as well. Those Marines. This actually must have been the second squad because I think the other one had higher veterans than the one with the Noise Blaster. I think, so I think this was the other Noise Marine squad. Liam Russ on the build queue. Probably best to save up for a Bane Blade. The opponents don't have a huge amount of AT, just a Noise Blaster and a rocket. This is the chaos music, not the space marine music. Fight on and drive the enemy back. Just sort of painted to their chats, and it's a nice little quiet bit for both sides to max out their forces. Here comes becomes a Manticore barrage. Just going to leave his heretic there. Does knock back the noise marines there. We've got the Lehman Ross with the execution turret now engaging both the chaos marines here. They do have the force spot, so we can. Damage the Lehman Rust, not to a great degree. Direct hit there on. Eh, not a huge hit there on the Imperial Guardsmen. Storm Guard veterans have loaded up armor piercing rounds. Another artillery flare now being called on in. And we've got a mine drop. 
got a transfer sensor gun. Maybe upgrade the missile launcher for a more anti vehicle. Vanguard better start charging in. So he's been pretty successful fighting the Russ, that's for sure. Oh, okay, not falling back. Got some damage there from the Librarian to the Imperial Guardsman. Getting a direct hit there with a Noise Marine. He looks like both squads will escape on out there. Not without a lack of try, though. Manticore Barrage does force back the Tech Marine. Chaos Lord, uh, Lord Commissar is falling back as well. My power is Here explosions. Is that the noise? Uh, Stern Guard veterans? No? Oh, we got a. Uh, uh, teleporter relay beacon for forward reinforcements. I forget how. You need. How do you build this again? Looks like uh, they're both going for Bane Blades. Like, fine, I'll get a Bane Blade. Both are getting Bane Blades. So, this is going to probably go down to one last engagement. The tickets are in favor of Team Right Side. Team. And we've also got the Plague Champion being sneaky and capturing up the point. And it looks like he will be successful. So now there's triple capture and team uh I mean I should say team right side and team left side is lacking tickets heavily. So soon two Bane Blades and a Lehman Rust gonna be out on the field. A lot of Imperial Guards will support them, but they have forward reinforcements and forward healing. They're well entrenched right here. Yeah, and you focus on mid there. Bane Blades making assault. There's a lot of various anti vehicle weapons available. Even the last kind of character down back here. It's a very nice option right there. The Bane Blades sustain quite a bit of from both resources and to prevent until your first move that Vanguard veteran there. The Bane Blade has sustained huge amounts of fire. And we got the uh, frag grenade gets thrown by the scouts, and there goes the Bane Blade. Liam Russ is engaging. The match is such a good upgrade of the missile turret. Where's the second Bane Blade? Second Bane Blade's on its way. The central point has been decaptured. They have 36 tickets remaining. Liam does have a small amount of time to get that point fully captured. Vanguard Barons now charge on in. Both Palms are trying to stop them. Getting some good damage here with the Lehman Ross. Bane Blaze now making his advance. Lehman Ross, or oh, Lord Palms are down out of energy. Vanguard Barons are forced on back. The point is being captured up by the Plague Champion. The Plague Champion will capture the point. We've got a uh, Manticore Strike coming on in. Armor piercing rounds have been on. Lord Kongzar is sitting right bit of fire. Lord Kongzar is going to try to capture the point. He needs to capture as soon as possible. And he actually left that nothing here for quite too long. He's, the scouts could throw a frag grenade. Lehman Russ is now snared by the Tactical Marines. Or maybe that was the uh, Tactical Marines. Guardsmen are falling back. They are getting required by the sneaky pilot. The central point is decaptured, which will stall off the game. Another mind drop now raining on in. Ritual is constantly being activated, giving so much help to get to these forces. Carson uh, squad is being deployed on up to support the Bane Blade. They need to go well, uh, He needs to get that demolisher cannon nearby. He's using the demolisher cannon now. He's the demolisher cannon. Almost wipes out the scout squad. Blood Champion recapturing the point now. Pestilence Blake. Bane Blade being repaired on up. We got a uh, ball through run just to stop the capture. Land Raider Phobos coming out by the Plague Champion. It would be good anti vehicle to engage the Bane Blade. 
both sides have lost significant amount of forces. The Storm Guard veterans have gone down. Vanguard veterans have begun to charge forward, trying to stop the world from Helmsar. Canadian Carson Squad should be on the front line soon. Over here, not a whole lot. The laser cannon, last cannon turret is down. The shrine does go down as well. The hard point has been broken on the team right side. They do have some tickets to play around with, and the point is still not yet captured. Land Raider Phobos now making his advance. Which is an ATP for uh, Good damage going on on out. Mandatory barrage. Getting some good damage there on, on the Land Raider. Auto cannon getting dived, uh, dived on by the Vanguard veterans league. The Librarian is charging in onto the Hero Guard when getting a great knockback there. Vanguard veterans are charging in on knocking back the Canadian uh, Canadian Carson squad. We got a turn meter squad now advancing. This is guys out of He's the tech, well, the tech is still prepared to use some combat, so we'll build him something that does not need repairs. Land Raider Phobos is still engaging. Use the Sinesh Pulse, not sure what else to call it. Cool Cars are falling back. Imperial Guardsmen are making an advance. Terminators, a lot of stuff are capturing up the point, but they all stop capturing at the same time. Terminators need to start to capture the point. They'll be pretty shaped to capture the point now. Terminus can upgrade the missile launcher upgrade. Give some good splash damage across the line. Mandicore cannot knock back the plague champion. Central VP has been captured that maybe game. They just need to throw all throw all the knockbacks right there. Hundreds of cards and bottles are down right there. Vanguard veterans engaging the field guardsmen. Auto cannon could not recapture the point, getting knocked back by the noise blaster, but it's still actually recapturing right now. And gets annihilated, gets knocked back again. The capture still being decaptured now. And that's actually the end of the replay. Couldn't decapture in time. Oh, by the way, this is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.